Okay. So the purpose of the AI detection from JetGPT is ChatGPT is a is a powerful artificial intelligence tool that is used as a chat bot for people to ask questions and talk to. The chat GPT generated texts are very similar to the text generated by humans. This can prove challenging in education when AI texts and human texts cannot be distinguished. In response to this, our project is committed, committed to addressing the task of discerning text synthesized by jet, chat GPT with a specific focus on educational context, particularly in the domain of short answer questions. Primary goal is to develop advanced AI technology capable of reliable, reliably identifying synthesized responses. So how we split up our project uh, path was into three milestones. The first being AI, ChatGPT, human, and paraphrase response gathering. Gather Q&A data sets used to generate AI responses and paraphrase responses. Second milestone was a text to metric framework to make model ready data. Then uh, transform the text into metrics to allow computer processing and manipulation. Third milestone, detection model to see if response is human or from ChatGPT. Process embedded data into detection and accuracy models. And so here in the middle, we have our two diagrams just kind of showing those processes and how we scoped it out for each milestone. But for milestone one results, we gathered over 2,000 questions. And, uh, in two different data sets for multiple you know, data sets, obviously, to use as the original data for processing through this project. And as we process this data, uh, we had to get the chat GPT responses to those questions and then use those responses to get paraphrase versions. So as you can see below, we also have two different examples of how that kind of worked. And I'm going to pass it off to Daniel to go over milestone two. So for the milestone two results, embedding the text, we embedded the text using pre-trained models while also structuring the data. And we gave examples of specific te text tags like adjective or conjunction and so forth. And the models are listed below. And the project and the project showcase QR code is on the bottom on the bottom right corner and Bilal will discuss milestone three results. So for milestone three, uh, we ran data for accuracy um, uh, to, to find the best model overall, um, which resulted in the all model um, base, uh, base V2 um, as it was the most well-rounded results for all the data. Um, and, and we mainly look for the highest accuracy uh, for prediction of the embedded data and this model showed mostly 0.9, in which case like uh, um, 0.7, anything less than 0.7 is bad. And so this model showed 0.9 and above compared to the other data sets. Um, so yeah, that was our results for milestone three. And as Daniel said, the project showcase QR code is in the in the corner to um, to access the website. 